Hi, thank you so much for joining me for today's process video. And today I really wanted to use my Jen Hadfield Stardust papers. So I pulled out some photos from a trip to Lisbon when we were on a cruise with Leanne and her family back in 2018. Um, I don't have any of the 12 by 12 papers for this collection, only the 6 by 8 paper pad and some of the embellishments. So I'm being a little bit creative with the paper pad because I wanted to add some strips, some torn strips behind the photos. Uh, so I'm just cutting them in the middle or tearing them in the middle to extend them a bit up the page because that cut and the gap that it's creating is hidden underneath the photos. So I'm just keeping those photos in place and having a play with the um, different heights of the papers to decide where they're going to go before I curl up the edges of the torn papers. So I think I'm more or less happy there now. So I'm just curling up the edges and then I shall glue these together as a mat but not actually glue them to the base because I want to add some mixed media <laughs> which is just standard with me now. So just curling up the edges, positioning everything before I come in with my wet glue and stick everything together and I'm using wet glue today rather than my double-sided tape because um, I wanted to be able to manoeuvre things around a little bit before the glue dried. And if you're using tape, it's a one and done, really. You have to be sure that you're happy with the positioning of things. So you can see I've matted those photos onto some white cardstock, just some scraps. I didn't bother leaving that in the video today because it's pretty boring seeing me <laughs> glue photos down onto some white card. And uh, my previous video is quite long, so I'm just trying to shorten this one a bit. But I love the colours in this collection. It's definitely one to have a look at. It hasn't been as popular in my shop as I expected it to, really. But um, it is a beautiful collection. I'm going to have a bit more of a play with it. So just coming in now, as I say, and sticking those strips down into place. And then I can decide what I'm going to do with the background. I didn't really have a clear plan of what I wanted to do when I started this layout. Sometimes... I really do know exactly what I'm doing. I think it's been a struggle for me coming out of a whole month of doing videos every day and having a sketch to work to, to suddenly having to have um, work for myself and having no guidelines whatsoever. <laughs> so making those decisions has been quite hard. It's, um, well, it's been a change, you know, when you get used to doing something one way and then suddenly it all changes. It's uh, tough. So there you can see I'm just fiddling around making sure that everything's straight and this is why I didn't want to use the double-sided tape because I wanted to have that option to be able to move things slightly. So now I'm going to do my mixed media. So coming in with my pencil just to make lines of exactly where this mat goes. First it helps me put the position the mixed media but it also helps me replace this mat once I've been working on the background because uh, my memory is terrible now. I think I've hit 50 and that's it. <laughs> so um, having these pencil guidelines really helps me. So I decided today that I was just going to come in with my Distress Oxides and swipe them down the page just to add some colour to the background. So that first one that I used was Antique Linen. Then I came in with Sponge Sugar and now I'm using Candied Apple. And I happened to use these on the diagonal because I didn't want the full width of the ink coming down. And then this green is mowed lawn and all these colours work really nicely with this, these um, papers in this collection. So just making sure that it goes right to the edge of the paper. So using some scrap card just to protect my desk there. And then coming back in with everything, checking that I'm happy. And now I just wanted to oxidise them slightly. So just sprayed them with some water and then I'm um, lifting the water up and that brings up some of the ink as well. So it just creates a really nice effect on those inks. So now coming in with my double-sided tape to get everything glued down into place. Just checking that everything's covered, obviously with that gap in the middle. Just having to work around that a little bit. And because the edges are curled up as well, I just wanted to make sure that I have plenty of tape down to make sure this sticks down fully onto the background. So just pulling all those bits off. So they're a bit tricky. <laughs> and then I can get that stuck down. 
there we go and I really like the effect that I get from those paints the inks behind those papers so just adding in one last strip I felt it needed one last strip um, there was a bit too much of that pale yellow showing so just wanted to add another little bit of torn paper there so just gluing that into position and now having a look at this stamp set that I got from All in Create on Hail of the Magpie um, I used the circle one last week in a layout so I wanted to try using this other one which is absolutely gorgeous it's almost like um, a barbed wire type feel to it but really pretty so using my archive link I'm just stamping that down and it wasn't long enough to go the whole length so you'll see I'm re-inking it and I'm turning it round and then just using some scrap paper to protect where I don't want the ink to go and just adding a little bit there get there in the end <laughs> and you'll see in the photos at the very end I didn't prime this stamp brilliantly it hasn't been used before so it didn't stamp as crisply as it will in the future so I did actually go over that with a black ink pen just to make the black stand out a little bit more. So I've added that main photo of um, Rob, Ross and Amelia on foam pads just to make it stand up a little bit. And then the photo of my cocktail is just going flat onto the page there just with some wet glue. And now I can start embellishing. So I've added that torn strip of paper across to draw your eye across the left hand side of the page. And now I'm adding another torn strip underneath that just to build up that layer a little bit. So just ruffling up the edges roughly and then I'll get that stuck down there. And then this piece was cut from one of the six by eight paper pads and it said today was the best. So using that and then trying to get these foam stickers into my layouts as well. So this one just says wonderful across the bottom. It says life is beautiful, crazy and wonderful. And I thought that worked really nicely there. We were on a cruise, so <laughs> we were having the time of our lives. So adding some foam pads to the back of this just so that I can layer it over the photo. And that looks really nice there. And now I'm going to go through the sticker book. So first of all, I pull out this lovely yellow circle with the holographic silver heart on. And then I'm going to layer that together with a flare badge from Hey Little Magpie that says Noteworthy. And that's actually from the flea market collection. Um, again, this just shows that just because I've designed it to go with the flea market, it doesn't have to go with Simple Stories Flea Market. It can go with anything. These are the um, printables from Hey Little Magpie, just some of the labels. So I'm just adding a couple of those. In fact, I just end up with the square one there. And then another heart from the sticker book. That wooden arrow is from the JD3D print that's at the bottom there. And then adding some silver stars as well, just as little sp uh, sparkly bits around the page. This sticker says best friends and I thought that worked nicely. And then just looking through and I find these speech bubbles and there's one that says amazing. So that's going to form part of the title, which is Amazing Lisbon on this layout. So just adding one of the strips, just again to add something else to draw your eye across the page there. And then coming in with some very old Jelly Bean Soup alphabet stickers in grey to spell the word Lisbon. And I just overlap these, I like the look of that. And it just sits nicely above that today is was the best. So a tiny bit of journaling here just says a quick pit stop in a lovely bar in Lisbon before we headed back to the boat. And then my date stamp underneath that and I just stamp it a couple of times. I like the look of that at the moment. So that goes down there. And then finally I'm going to cover everything up and come in with my gold watercolour paint and add some splatters all around the page. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this process video today. It just shows you don't always need 12 by 12 paper. Um, a 6 by 8 pad will do. A couple more bits from the foam stickers just to finish off. And that's it. Thanks again. I'll see you very soon. Bye.